بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلا علیہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد from the minhaj of talab al-ilm from the methodology of how to seek the knowledge this is something we often don't ask ourselves many times you hear people say I want to go seek knowledge I want to you know where which country should I go you know which madrasa should I go to which marka should I go to should I go to Yemen should I go to Mauritania should I go to Egypt should I try to get in the Saudi universities or whatever whatever the various places that people try to seek the knowledge and this is a most noble and a great endeavor for the Muslim to undertake and to seek knowledge on how to worship their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala properly and with that we need guidance and we need direction on how to do that properly and one of the most foremost important advices and this comes from a very beneficial book called من حدی السلف فی طلب العلم this is from the guidance of the salaf in seeking the knowledge and from that guidance is that first and foremost that we have ikhlas lila subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says first fi kitab al-kareem wa ma umiru ila li a'udu Allah mukhlisina Allahu al-deen hunafa wa yukimu salah wa yutu zakah wa dharika deen al-qayyima Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clear that ikhlas that the the that the earlier nations were only ordered to have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their worship of him and him alone and so talab al-ilm is ibadah talab al-ilm is ibadah so it's imperative for us to know that that is talab al-ilm seeking the knowledge is a type of ibadah it's a type of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so first and foremost the person needs to to know that that they need sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come closer to him that they're seeking knowledge in order to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone better on basira wa fiqh and the other important thing that we have to realize is tadarraj tadarraj fi talab al-ilm that a person should have the correct intention to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone to understand the religion not to show off not to be uh, better as, as is mentioned in so many nasus from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the people who showed off and by seeking knowledge in order to have the people praise them and that they'll be some of the first people who enter the hellfire because of that even though they're doing such a great duty which is seeking the knowledge and learning the Quran and teaching the Quran but they did it for the wrong reason so they'll be dragged with their faces in the hellfire and so that sincerity for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come closer to Allah is imperative and that will give you tawfiq in your talab al-ilm and the second important thing as we mentioned was tadaraj meaning to, to to seek knowledge in levels don't busy yourself for example I've seen it with my own eyes and ears and witnessed our brothers and sisters who go seek the knowledge and they study and try to study big masail big issues before they get grounded in the little issues begin with with uh, tawheed and begin with learning the Arabic language and begin with the Quran and, and, and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as, as many of our ulama have, have shown us that that's the way that's the madhab of the Salaf the Salaf used to begin with the Quran but also you must have the intention and begin with good manners that you must have sincerity to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and have good akhlaq and adab you know there's certain manners and certain ways of seeking the knowledge it isn't just you grabbing a book and you're sitting in the dars with the shaykh but you're not practicing that knowledge and you're not treating people properly and you're not respecting yourself and respecting others but rather seeking knowledge it requires edit it requires manners so that you're have the intention to practice that knowledge and that you're starting with those things which are small instead of those large things so you can't start talking about beginning to seek knowledge or you go away to wherever you go to study and 
after three months, you you don't know Arabic, and you're beginning to talk about takfir, or you're beginning to talk about jarwa ta'dil and how to take people off the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu or how to praise people, or how or how you, what you should know about this sheikh or this person or this person who's calling. But that's not the knowledge you begin with, but rather you begin with knowing who your Lord is, because if you're taken in that state, instead of being, you, you, if your life ends, and you don't know who Allah is and how to worship Him properly, then that's that means you've missed the maqsood of the talib al alam you've missed the purpose of seeking the knowledge now seeking the knowledge is to come closer to Allah to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala basira ala haqq and in the proper uh, manner so imperative to know that you begin with those things you begin with those things that are most important and then build your knowledge you have to build knowledge upon knowledge that you don't begin with those things which are major masail and major and things that have ikhtilaf kathira and you don't even know the small things like tawheed and fiqh ibadah fiqh ibadat things like uh, how to make tahara properly you know to prepare yourself for prayer or how to make wudu and i've seen countless uh, times and even myself when i began to seek knowledge many years ago in yemen i can remember sitting in the masjid talking to a Yemeni with my very 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 limited Arabic at the time and I was talking about some big issue we actually it was almost sort of a debate but I couldn't even express myself properly but yet I was talking about some big issue about don't go to this markas because Ahlul Bid'ah is there or this or this and the Yemeni said you know do you have you learned Arabic do you know any Arabic yet so that is a, a, a lesson for us to put everything in its proper perspective begin with the small knowledge before you go on to bigger and larger issues and issues that require ilm or fiqh fi din another very important thing with seeking the knowledge and we'll get this from some of the athar of the salaf we'll end with that is the statement of Sufyan ibn Sa'id al-Thawri rahimahullah ta'ala one of the tabi'een Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah ta'ala and he said laysa amal ba'd al-fara'id afdal min talab al-ilm wa kana rajul la yatlub al-ilm hatta yata'adib wa yata'abud qabla thalika 20 sana so Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah ta'ala he said there is no there is nothing which is greater than see, uh, than uh, doing there's no greater deeds to do except for the obligatory de duties uh, there's no greater deeds than the obligatory duties and the only thing after that is talib al ilm and a man meaning a man from amongst us uh, did not seek the knowledge until he learned manners and worshipped with those manners 20 years so that's a, a statement attributed to uh, Sufyan al-Thawri uh, and very and uh, very beneficial for us this statement to show us the importance of manners of having the correct manners on how to sit how to be humble not busying yourself trying to refute the same person you're trying to take knowledge from if this is a person well known from the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then benefit from them and learn manners from them learn their manners and sit and to adab and seek knowledge in that fashion another statement attributed to Abdullah bin Mubarak rahimahullah ta'ala he said Kana كانوا يطلبون الأدب ثم العلم. He said we uh, they used to meaning mentioned in the Salaf those who preceded him and he was a tabi'in or it's bad tabi'in. He died in uh, 181 Hijri, and he said that they used to work on their manners then علم that that was the menhad. So that shows us the importance that we want to practice the knowledge. You know, we need to gain this knowledge, 
knowledge of kitab illah wa sunnah to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and practice it striving to be better striving to be better in our characters striving and to learn the mannerisms of talib al-ilm how can how do we sit in the majalis of dhikr how do we sit with the uh, with the ulama is it just a matter of getting a book and you just sit in the halaqa is there a certain certain things that we do is there certain ways in which we interact with others in the halaqa outside the halaqa with the sheikh how should we should we respect the sheikh you know, how should we be with him? Should we, as some of those extreme people do, they worship their, their ulama, they cry when they see them, they have pictures of them and cry and and pull out uh, cards uh, with their names on them and, and do all kind of things and, 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 and praise them going way beyond the bounds. Then there are those who put things in perspective, like Ahl Sunnah, that they love the ulama and they follow the way of the ulama, those ulama that have the tarbiyah, that have the, the methodology and mannerisms and that have the ilm and the fiqh and teach the people and show the people with their, their deeds and their actions and their ilm and their fiqh. So we love them and we try to follow them and we do not blindly follow them in everything but rather the more knowledge we learn and if we have if we have the ability to discern between haq and battle we always have to follow the haq we always are required to follow the haq and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of the students of knowledge seeking the knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah forgive us for our sins wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam